how would you describe your happiness with the state of refereeing? Well, I'm always happy going into a new season. It's uh, probably the best time of the year, isn't it? We're feeling positive. We've got some new initiatives, which obviously creating some, some discussion as well, but we feel that they're going to benefit the game. And of course, I'm keen to see how they bed in and if they do what we think they will do, and that's improve, improve the game. So exciting times. Give us a, an idea of when something new is going to be introduced, such as how you're going to manage the time of the game. We've seen in, in world football a decline in effective playing time to a point where in League Two last season, the average time was 48 minutes with the ball in play. In the Premier League, it was 54, but there's still a sense that it needs to be more than that, if it can be more than that. I think we all accept we've seen an increase in some of the darker arts, so that's players kicking the ball away, carrying the ball away, throwing the ball away, preventing free kicks from being taken quickly, goalkeepers taking too long in certain uh, restarts. It's an area where we can positively impact the game. So on Five Live on Saturday afternoon and on my results page, and I'm seeing time go 90 plus 4, 90 plus 7, 90 plus 11. When you're seeing that or having reports back of that, what's your immediate thought? Um, I, I knew there would be more time on the fourth official's board just based on the methodology that we're applying. I'm not here saying that we're trying to put as many minutes on the board as we possibly can. We know that has a knock-on effect. We know that that's not what people are necessarily asking for. They're asking for a fair um, cal calculation of time that's lost. I'm hoping that player behaviour will modify because we've been consistent in our approach to that. I think there'll be a little bit of settling down in terms of some of the time that's been added by the officials. They've been pretty eager in that first week, but the norm, we think, going forward, will settle down to about two more minutes, two and a half minutes per game. It's the age-old thing, isn't it, Howard? You watch a rugby broadcast out of Union or League, you can hear the big screen official, the TMO. You watch a, a cricket match, you can hear it in the ground. So how on earth have we got to 2023 and ev virtually every other sport does it and football doesn't? Yeah, it's great. And, and for somebody who doesn't really thoroughly understand those other sports in the way that I understand this one, for me, it's great to be able to hear those conversations and get an understanding as to what's happening. So what's what are you afraid of? We're not. I, I mean, we've been... Uh, we've been pretty open in saying that we are, we are looking to take advantage of any methodology that we can to open up that door to the way that officials are, are making their decisions. We think this is coming in football. Who has to make that decision? FIFA have to permit it within the VAR protocol at the moment, that's not allowed. We're not at the moment allowed to do it within the actual game. So for example, I can't open the audio channels to you as a broadcaster this weekend in the Premier League. But we need to enhance also the communication to our fans in the stadium where possible, our TV audience at home. And uh, we'll, we will take advantage of anything that allows us to do that in a way that enhances the way that officials are perceived.